This is the mod case for the Asus ROG Ally X by JSOX, which has a built-in stand and non-slip grip. We're here today to check it out. Now, I've literally just got this in the post as I was filming another video and I went, you know what, let's just get this straight out and film it now, shall we? So yes, this does look a little bit like a competitor's version, which happened to come out at the same time, but this is considerably cheaper. So we'd seen the mod case for the Steam Deck and everything by JSOX as well. I've got videos of that on the channel from quite a while ago, but I've been eagerly anticipating grips for the Ally X, which seem to have taken ages to come out. I imagined companies to have them ready for launch, but that just wasn't the case. But what I do love about these types of cases are this this front panel, the protection on the front, which protects the joysticks and the screen. And all you have to do is like lift it up and pull it out, right? So it just comes out like that. Now this one actually has foam backing to protect the screen, but it also has a little indents just here for micro SD cards. Now I don't actually have a micro SD card in my Ally X because I upgraded the NVMe drive. But if you are someone that has loads of micro SD cards because the Ally X won't kill them, <laughs> then you can put them in here if you want. And yeah, this is cool. It protects the tops just here and you can still charge via one of the ports, right? So we've got cutouts for everything, but this clips over and just goes click like that. And then you can still charge it through that. I love that. Protects the joystick so you can pop it in your bag or something like this without needing a case. But anyway, let's take this off again like so and see what we get inside. So now we've got, stop, watch the video first at JSOX, which yeah, okay, cool. Maybe I've got to watch that video. But before we do that, let's see what else we get. So we get this, which had nothing in it. Well, it probably did have something in it, but I can't remember. Then you get a, a, a new watch strap. So you can wear your Ally X as a watch if you actually want to, but if not, then this is actually for attaching a power bank to the back of it, right? So on the back, you get this and this slides on and then you can try and attach a power bank to the back if you want. We will try that a bit later. Next up, you get this, which I've actually been anticipating. And this is a really cool little JSOX stand. So this is actually a stand, but I'm just noticing something. The logo's upside down. So the way that this would actually be on the, on the case means that it would flip out this way. So JSOX logo is upside down. It's really nice and stiff. Like that is properly stiff. It flips up all the way as well. And yeah, that, that ain't going anywhere. That's not floppy or anything like that. That's nice and stiff. So I'm actually digging that. But obviously let's just prove my thinking here. How'd you get it off? Oh, you just, just pull it off like that. If we put it the right way around where JSOX logo is the right way, it's now I suppose that's still, oh no, okay, yeah, no, that, that works, that works, okay, ignore everything I've said, they've done it the right way around, okay, I'm sorry, JSOX, I thought it was going to be standing on this bit, I didn't understand that that was actually the stand, so it's probably even more stable than it just resting on that bit, okay, I'm an idiot, and then we get this piece which comes out and reveals this, so I've been on their website and I can't find the video anywhere, it's just showing the old one of these for the original Ally on their website, even on the listing of this one, when you scroll down, it's just the old one, but whatever. I'm pretty sure that you get the Ally in, right? And you you put it in the base just here. So you kind of like flip this around like this, right? And then you're meant to pull these up and over so that you're not breaking the sticks like this. There we go. So now it is on. and. Yeah, okay, this feels pretty good. <laughs> that feels pretty good. I mean, I don't know about these, you know, I suppose you're just meant to take them off. And once you've finally got those off, there it is. It sits in there really nice. This is incredibly grippy, this back piece just here. It's got like crazy texture going on all over that. So it's super duper grippy. It is a rubber as well. The back has cutouts for all the fans and everything. You've got cutouts on the top as well, which you you know, you can see just there. I feel like it's not on fully. I feel like it needs to come this way a bit more and you can see on the top of the lip, like I feel like it was meant to grip round a bit more. Whereas it seems to like not be sitting incorrectly. I'll have a play around with this, you know, off screen and see if I can make it fit a little bit better. But it does fit really well, to be fair. You know, I just feel like 
It's just a couple of mil that needs to come forward a bit more, but nothing's impeded in terms of the triggers and the back paddles. Same with these back bumpers just here. These are, you can see they're right in the center just there. And then you've got that little stand here as well so that you can stand it up. And yeah, that, that works really well. It saves you having to pop it on a stand or use one of the little egg cartons that it comes with. This is so super grippy. And then of course, what we can do is get this, you hook it over the top first and then push it down, right? And then there you have it. You've got the front panel, which is a hard panel on the front just there, protecting the front of your Ally X if you do end up putting it in a bag or anything. And you've still got that charging port just there on the top. And then to get it off, you just kind of lift this up gently and pull it back like so. And then there you go, it is off. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But I do wanna show you that back piece again, the watch strap. So pulling that off, and let's put this one on instead. The watch strap does have a soft touch rubber on the back just there. Now I've got a pretty big power bank. I've got this big, hefty 130 watt U-Green power bank and I'm not too sure if it will fit on here. Oh no, it will. Yep, there we go. Now I can have this monster power bank <laughs> strapped to the back and make it weigh an absolute ton if I really wanted to. So if you're doing like a, I don't know, around the world in 80 days kind of flight and you want infinite battery power, well then you can do that with this. You know, you can just strap a whacking great big power bank on the back like I have, but you know, I'm not really gonna do that personally. I would leave wherever it's gone this on here instead and just slide that on and pop that down for my little stand, which I really like. You know, I'm digging this a lot. I think it's cool. I hope I can jiggle this forward a little bit more so that it kind of wraps around just that little bit more because I feel like it's just out, you know? But again, that could just be me rushing the installation for the video. It definitely feels good, like with this on, especially with these thumbstick grips I've got there. Definitely feels like I've got a bit of protection there. I'm actually really liking this, and I'm probably gonna leave this on and properly test this out for a bit longer to see what I think of it. So how much is the JSOX mod case? Well, it comes in the kit that I've got just here, which is just the grip, the, uh, the, the front piece just here, the watch strap, and the kickstand comes in at $30. That is a really, really budget price, right? $30 for all of this, I think is actually decent. Considering this is pretty similar to the D brand kill switch and that, including the front piece, will set you back $75, right? So more than double the price of this for the D-Brand one. And if you're like me in the UK, they don't ship to the UK D-Brand I'm talking about, uh, without like import taxes and heavy fees. So you're paying well over a hundred dollars to get one of those over here. Whereas JSOX will ship this over here and you're looking at like $30, maybe some extra shipping, but it's nowhere near what dbrand would be, you know, costing. We'll see if dbrand want to send us over one of these to test and we can compare them, but I highly doubt it. They never reply to our emails. <laughs> but yeah, if you want us to test one of them, go tell them on Twitter or something. Just go like, you know, one to eight KB need one of these. But anyway, I I really like this for the price point. I think this is really good. It's one of the only ones coming out right now. I personally am super excited about the Skull & Co grip case because that's my favorite Steam Deck grip case. And I'm looking forward to testing that out when they finally release it. It's available for pre-order now and that will be coming soon as soon as we get our hands on one. But anyway, this is the mod case from JSOX that lets you do a load of stuff with that little back paddle thing. And yeah, I really dig it actually. I really dig it. I just hope that I can get that sitting a little bit closer to the front, but there we go. What are your thoughts on the JSOX mod case? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this, then like the video, subscribe, become a member where you can talk to me and AJ over in our private Discord group. And talking of AJ, go check out our podcast over here and check out another video from me down here. Bye.